So Carolyn's doing laundry again. She does laundry two, two or three times a week. Just a half a bucket of water, some soap, and the laundry. Don't forget about the plunger. And you can get all these components at your local Dollar General for about 10 bucks. Now there's a couple other things she has. This is her wintertime laundry, I'm doing it in a bucket. This is how we did it when we were nomads, traveling around the country. We have a water heater, so in the wintertime she actually gets hot water. I mean, she could have hot water in the summer too if she wanted, but she just doesn't. And I'll explain more of that in a minute, but she also has this little spinner. And you can see it's like a mini wash machine. A lot of people will say, oh, you can't get any laundry in that. But she actually does quite a bit. I mean, think about it. She's doing laundry in a bucket. So you don't get much laundry in it anyways. And if you just do laundry more frequently, it's not a big deal. But this thing, you just pull it. It's hard to do one-handed. And then it spins and removes a lot of that water. Of course, she does that twice, once after the wash cycle and then once after the dry cycle. Then she hangs up the laundry. And that's it. Now, I was just given a video from somebody. I don't know if sometimes these people are joking or if they're trolls or if they're, if they're serious. I, I just don't know. But they sent me a, one of those one minute short videos, YouTube shorts. I've been trying to do those, but man, it's hard to come up with an idea for them. And, should be simple but i just can't figure out how to do them i made one and it was pretty successful and i keep thinking how can i duplicate that and i've tried and it just didn't work so i'll keep thinking about the youtube shorts but somebody sent me one and it showed an off-grid couple and they lived in idaho up in the mountains i guess lots of snow and they load up the truck with their laundry and all kinds of stuff and the truck has chains on it so they drive down the hill with the truck and then they get into the suv so they transfer all the stuff into the suv their laundry and everything and then they go to town and then they go to i guess the truck stop and get a shower and then they go and get the laundry done and somebody said this is what you need to do stop abusing your wife now i admit it people constantly think i'm abusing my wife by making her live here now this girl had tattered hair before she went to town it was up on a you know bun or whatever and then she went to town got the shower and it was well done makeup you know very nice looking it was a huge difference you could see that she enjoyed her shower and i'm thinking carolyn can have a shower anytime she wants here anytime she wants and i'm the abusive one i don't understand the abuse she has hot water anytime she wants food anytime she wants so I, I don't understand it, but apparently I'm abusing her because I make her do laundry in a bucket. And the thing is, is I don't make her. I don't know how many times I got to say this. I don't make her do anything. If laundry wasn't done, as a matter of fact, she wasn't feeling well. So she took a few days off and I didn't have any undergarments. So I just put it in a little tub, washed it myself, hung it over the stove and I had my laundry. Uh, I didn't realize I was out of laundry. That was my fault. Not that I, I was trying to neglect anything. If I had known we were running low on laundry, I would have just done it. And within 10 minutes, I was able to get my shower. It's just not difficult. I've done the laundry. I don't know. I guess you need a washing machine and dryer. I keep saying that Carolyn had to work. She worked she was probably 60 hours a week. She worked a lot. We had a washing machine. It was down in the basement. Now, we had one of these little old farmhouses. And so you'd have to go outside and walk down the hill and around into the basement area to get to the wash machine. And you would forget about it because you couldn't hear it. That last load of laundry would sit in the wash machine and then by the, you know, Wednesday you realize, oh man, I left the laundry down there. So you're gonna redo it. It's just more cost, more everything. Whereas with this, when she gets tired, she stops, no big deal. And the thing is, is Carolyn is big into assembly work is the best way to put it. I have to have my brain going all the time. You know, when I'm plunging, I'm always thinking, well, how can I make this easier? How more efficient and this and that. I just can't sit and do something. I've got to be experimenting and trying to figure things out. But she can put in her headphones, listen to the Bible app and plunge away or 
YouTube shorts or I don't know what she watch, listens to. I tell her to set an alarm for 15 minutes so she doesn't get too carried away because she will sit there all day on one load just plunging away and, for, and just get such trance. Now think about that, 60 hours a week or enjoying your day, plunging away, losing track of time. And I've offered to take her to the laundromat many times and she just refused to go. Occasionally she said, maybe we should go to the laundromat to do the sheets and the, the bedding. Okay, and I'll be loading up the truck and she ah, never mind, I don't wanna go. Of course, she's got social anxiety, so it's easier to not go. And sometimes those machines are just nasty. I, we went one time down in Florida when we were nomads and I spent 20 minutes cleaning out the washing machine because it had this gunk in it. And, and everybody's busy and crabby and bouncing into you. It's just, I don't know, I don't like the laundromat. Now I have offered many times to get her washing machine. We used to have, my ex-wife and I used to have, and it stayed when she left, I kept it. And so Carolyn got to use it occasionally, but we used to have this little bitty wash machine. We live in an apartment. Could just kind of slide it over into the corner. I don't even know if it was on wheels. It was pretty light, so it may not have been on wheels. Slide over in the corner, and then when you want to do laundry, you slid it in front of the sink. You could do the laundry. You put the discharge hose, like in the back of the toilet, put the lid on the, the discharge hose so it didn't flop out. And so the water would just go down into the toilet. It just drains down into the bowl when it, you just got that overfill. I've offered to get one of those because that doesn't use a lot of electricity. I, we could run that off the generator. We probably could run it off solar panels. I mean, I haven't really looked into it, but regardless, we could do something with it. And she just doesn't want it. It was pretty cheap too. I think my ex-wife got it at uh, walmart.com. I'm sure they got it on Amazon. And she just refuses to get it. And then I've offered, especially when we were nomads, they have this little bitty machine that washes. She doesn't want that either. And as far as the shower, she could get 16 showers a day. It just doesn't matter. You know, I fill up the water tank. That's the, the only thing. And it's not even a restriction. I was going to say that's the only thing that really restricts what we can do. The water tank holds 275 gallons. I fill it up maybe once a week now, five, every five days or so with the well. Just run the generator. I can run it off solar, but it's just easier off the generator. But if she wanted to take a shower all day long, I'd have to come out here and fill the tank. As a matter of fact, what I would probably do is I would just regulate the well so it's feeding into the tank at the same pace as the RV pump is pumping water from the tank into the house. Or I could just disconnect the RV pump, run a hose from the well into the water heater, and she could run it right off the well. As far as cooking out on the porch, that is another big complaint that I get all the time. And even when I say that, that Carolyn likes it like this, just like this, this is how she wants it. I've asked, do you want me to put walls up? No. Do you want me to put railings up? No. This is how she designed it. Every time I say that, well, you could at least put a tarp around there in the winter so she doesn't get that cold air. We bought a piece of property that has a wood line in it here. I'm gonna show you the woods. And I, I think it's pretty cool looking. And I think Carolyn thinks it's pretty cool looking. So when we put a tarp up, you lose that. So I don't think people understand the full scope of what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying to carve out a little bit of serenity and peace and happiness. But people want to bog us back down into modern society. The thing is, is the current administration has m tried to make a lot of rule changes. A while back, and I know the, the, there's going to be the other people on the other side of the aisle, oh, that's Fox News fear-mongering. But I read the what the Department of Energy, I think it was Department of Energy, wanted to do. They wanted to ban gas stoves. It wasn't one article. It wasn't just Fox News. There was a lot of people. So you go and you read the proposal from the Department of Energy and what they said was gas stoves produced asthma. Now they used a study that they did back in the 70s. Well there was such an outcry that the administration said okay never mind we, we won't ban them. But here's the newest proposal. They are trying to get the wash machine companies like Whirlpool to make more efficient wash machines. So what they want to do I think 
is use half as much water on their wash machines, which in, on the surface sounds pretty good. But the first thing they say, this will help climate I've never understood this water thing. We're gonna run out of water because of climate change. The, the planet can't run out of water. Water recycles. That's why we get rain. It evaporates, goes up into the atmosphere, and falls back down. That's just, it's just how it works. You can make a solar still. So all you gotta do is a little bubble, or, and it, the water evaporates, comes up to the top of the solar still thing, and dribbles back down into this little cup. And now you have purified water. So even if you had some raw sewage and it evaporated, it evaporates up in the sky as water. There's none of the sewage with it. Nothing goes up with it except water. So that, that's how the planet works. It's a, it's really a neat system. Uh, one that I can build for you just to, as a simulation, but we're gonna run out of water. Now, I suspect what this means is, is California's gonna run out of water. Of course, now they're getting inundated with water they're complaining they're getting too much water. They never seem to be happy. And it is California after all, so they probably don't even understand how water recycles here on the planet. So yeah, they wanna... The proposal says that it will help the poor with new, these new washing machines because they won't have to use as much water. So that'll reduce the water bill for poor people. Whirlpool comes back and says, that's not true. First of all, making a smaller washing machine means that we're gonna have to redo everything. So the government even suspects it's gonna cost each company $7 million to convert their current machines into these energy water efficient machines. Then Whirlpool says, the problem is, is the clothes are not gonna get as clean. So you're gonna to have to use as much, twice as much soap to get cleaner clothes. And even at that, it's not gonna come as clean. Whirlpool has already tried this apparently and was unsuccessful getting clothes as clean because they wanted to give it out to the market and let the free market decide whether this was a good machine or not. But they couldn't get the clothes clean. What they suspect will happen, Whirlpool, is that their customers will buy these new machines at a higher price because they got the $7 million tool changes that they got to pay for. Then the customer's going to get it. They'll do the laundry and realize, man, my clothes are still dirty. And then they have to do it again. So twice as much soap, still not gonna get clean. Do it again. Now you're using actually more water than you would have if you just had a regular machine. As Carolyn was saying, get yourself a plunger, a bucket, start doing your own laundry. So if you'll click this up next box to take you to a video where I was talking about the banks. So if I can inspire you to do your own laundry, sing live your dreams. Thanks for watching.